Hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever time zone that you're in right now. Welcome to another Dr. Paula. Hey, good morning. It's the holiday season and everybody is so busy. Some of you are at the airport getting ready to go out of town to visit your family. Some of you are busy, busy at the supermarket, just buying, 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 preparing to have this great holiday feast. I'm so, so, so excited about this holiday season. I love the holiday season. Not only does it give me time to be away from work for a couple of days, but it gives me time to fellowship with other people, friends and family. I would like to wish you a happy holiday season. Hey, there are some things that you need to know before you go out to the supermarket and you buy this big, how many pounds of turkey. You need to know there is an outbreak of disease going around in raw turkey. All right. So this has been going on since really since the beginning of 2018 and that outbreak has been slowly affecting people, has affected more than 300 people, and it's affecting several states. This disease is called Salmonella, and the bacteria that causes it is Salmonella redding. Bacteria is in raw turkey, and if you do not handle your turkey properly during this holiday season, you are actually placing yourself at risk for the salmonella reading infection. So, so some things you need to know before you start dealing with this turkey. And there are several processes, you know, of course, you know, when you're cooking, there are several stages. You know, first you go out and purchase the turkey, then you bring it home. It's frozen, of course, you want to thaw it out and you want to make sure that when you thaw out your turkey, you are not doing it on the countertop, that you're actually thawing out your turkey in the refrigerator. And there are some microwaves, of course, if your microwave is huge enough, that are designed to thaw out your turkey. If it's really big, I doubt you can fit it in the microwave, but if it's reasonable size, you can. So you want to make sure that your know, turkey is not thawed out at room temperature. All right, once the temperature is less, more than 40 degrees Fahrenheit, no good. You can't store, you know, cold food or food that's already cooked at room temperature for an extended period of time. All right, so we talk about this outbreak that's going around and it's affecting a lot of people. Over 100 people actually have been hospitalized from this salmonella outbreak. You must know that it's very important. We go about, we are celebrating and we are doing things and we don't really know what's going on out there. Number one, the news media doesn't really tell you a lot of the things that's going on out there. You know, when you turn on your TV, all you see is one particular topic. They don't tell you everything else that's going on. So you want to first be careful in handling your turkey. And as I said, do not thaw it out at room temperature. When you're ready to, to prepare it, okay, you want to make sure you are wearing gloves. You must wear gloves to handle the turkey. And, and I'm not talking about the reusable gloves that you wear over and over. I'm talking about you need to get some disposable gloves and handle that turkey. Because, you know, you know the risk of contaminating your countertops, your refrigerator handle, your cabinet handle as you reach out to get seasoning and you know moving around there is a risk of contamination of your environment so you want to make sure that you're wearing gloves um, once you are done washing and cleaning up the turkey after it's thawed out you know preparing to season it you want to make sure that you are um, you are using the gloves of course but you are putting it on a surface I personally put a disposable pad under whatever container. I might be going too far, but that's just what I do. Number one, you know, I have a table in the backyard. I place a disposable pad and that's where I wash and my turkey with lemon and whatever I need to do 
do it out there before I bring it in. But if you're doing it in your kitchen, which 99% of people do, you want to make sure that you're protecting the countertop and the sink. You are not all over the place just splashing the turkey water all over the place. Okay, wash your hands very frequently and wash your hands with warm and soapy, soapy water, right? And make sure when you wash, you're washing for 20 minutes. I mean 20 total, 20 seconds total time, right? Wash your hands, okay? Make sure your utensils are washed properly. Your cutting board, whatever knives that you use, warm, soapy water, all right? So when you when you have the turkey in the refrigerator, so you're done with the seasoning and everything, you wanna set it aside to marinate and all that. You wanna make sure that your refrigerator is not overpacked. So you have all the greens and everything else that you have purchased in preparation for that big meal and your little turkey is sitting on the bottom shelf and every other shelf is jam-packed and it's preventing the air from circulating in your refrigerator to maintain that ideal temperature required to prevent you know growth of bacteria in the refrigerator of course right now once your turkey once you know about to prepare your turkey you want to bring it out and from that pot or whatever you had it seasoned in you want to place it if you had it in your little turkey roaster it's fine but if you had it in a separate container and have to transfer it to whatever pan you are going to roast it in well of course you want to wear gloves right when it's being cooked make sure you have a thermometer a thermometer that gives you the reading that deep in the turkey tissue is exposed to the appropriate heat, right? Always cook your meat with a thermometer. And if you were doing dressing, let's say you are stuffing your turkey, you want to make sure you cook your, your stuffing separately, right? Make sure your stuffing is properly cooked and then you, you bake it with your um, turkey, right? Now, do not keep, once your turkey is cooked and you bring it out, you're serving your family, you know, you don't want to keep the leftover sitting at room temperature for no more than two or three hours. Yeah, two hours ideal. Leftovers are not supposed to remain on the countertop. Yeah, make sure that you're quickly refrigerating, like I said, 40 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit sitting on your countertop is the perfect environment for the growth of bacteria so once you have served your family and you had a good time you want to make sure that leftovers are quickly refrigerated and not sitting at the room temperature waiting for the the the, the folks who choose to come to your house at 7 p.m expecting that turkey to be sitting on the countertop from 11 o'clock this morning all right you're placing yourself your family and everybody at risk so when you're cooking your turkey, usually on the outside of your turkey, you have the instructions on how much that turkey weighs and how much time it needs to completely cook that bird. So make sure you're paying attention to that. The size of the turkey, the weight, and the number of hours required to make sure that this turkey is properly cooked. All right? So we don't want to get sick this holiday season, you wanna make sure that you are preventing contamination from raw turkey, from this salmonella reading that's going around. We don't wanna make, we don't wanna come down with it. So, you, so these outbreaks, once they are found, all right, once these outbreaks are detected, it's they're usually being picked up, especially during this holiday season, in clusters. So. Um, I remember working for the health department once we investigated clusters of football illness. It was many times a potluck at the church where several people shared the same food item or this it's Thanksgiving and all the jobs are having their Thanksgiving dinner and everybody having the same food item that is improperly cooked. So we want to make sure that especially if you're entertaining visitors you're getting your friends sick and you're getting your family sick. So we want to make sure we're taking all the precautions necessary to have a healthy and a safe holiday season. So 
please guys do what's necessary clean your hands once you're done before and after preparing that turkey you want to make sure their hands are clean washed with soap and water and your environment is clean make sure your turkey is properly cooked exposed to the appropriate heat for the appropriate length of time and have a good holiday season see you next time okay this is dr paula's it is breast health but i promise i'm going to be bringing you all the things that allow you to remain healthy so have a good holiday season and see you next time bye